Hello, welcome back to another planty video. I hope that y'all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit more of a laid back video. I actually did a video similar to this a couple of months ago and I really liked it. I'm on this um, kind of like get my life together thing right now <laughs> where I'm just trying to be more organized and plan ahead so that I can have a better work-life balance and a better um, like plant chores life balance and that allows me to be able to enjoy my plants more when I actually feel like I'm on top of their care and everything. And doing things like monthly resets really helps me to set myself up for success in that realm. I honestly might even do them every month because that would help keep me accountable. So let me know if y'all like this video. I know I do. Anything that inspires me to get things done myself, I am down for. And I love feeling like I'm just like coming along with people as they do their little tasks. So I have my little list right in here of the things that I want to get done. And the first thing on my list is to organize my plant cart. I have a utility cart with a bunch of my planty things on it that I use the most frequently. So my fertilizers and shears and things like that are on there. However, it tends to get really messy because I am a messy creature. So I have to periodically go through and tidy things up. Um, so I really want to do that. And then I need to refill my sphagnum moss bin because I just used the last of it like a couple of days ago and so I have no sphagnum moss up here. It's downstairs. I store like the big brick of it downstairs because there's just no place to really put it up here and then I'll just like break some off into a smaller bin for me to keep up here. So I need to do that so that I'm all restocked on my sphagnum moss. My monthly reset is a lot about just having supplies ready for me because I don't want to be doing plant care and then suddenly I'm just like running around to different rooms and like down to the basement and everything trying to find what I'm looking for and gather things up like it's it's it makes things flow much more easily if I'm just stocked up and ready to go so um the next thing is to make a new soil mix I still have my tree fern fiber mix and then I also have some of my molly's aeroid mix left which is what I've been using most often I need to stock up on that though because I'm almost out but I don't have any of my classic just soil orchid bark and perlite mix available and I just I don't know some plants I might prefer that for and it also just works as a really good base like I can always modify it if plants need something different so I just like to have that basic mix on hand and I don't have any made up right now so I want to do that. I also want to mix up some fertilizer and refill my squirt bottles that I keep right here just so that they're ready to go. That's something that I do like multiple times a week but while I'm doing my monthly reset I just like to go ahead and get it done so I'm at least good for you know the next time I go to water. For most of the summer I actually wasn't even using my liquid fertilizer but now I'm back to using it again because I'm just finding that I have the time to now that I have implemented new schedules. Oh yeah, I've also started like a whole new plant care schedule. Maybe I'll talk about that for a second. So I used to water every single day. I would choose a section to do and I would water it or at least try to. Like maybe if I didn't do it every day, maybe I would skip a day and do it every second day. Um, but I was watering just like very frequently and it just felt like I always had a mess on the counter like every single day, like having to haul plants out, get all my watering stuff out do the watering and then I'd have a mess to clean up afterwards. It's just kind of a procedure to be doing it every single day. So what I'm trying now, and I don't know if this is gonna work for me either, but what I'm trying now is doing two designated watering days where I water half my collection on each of those days. Obviously maybe some plants won't fit into this like weekly schedule and I'll have to um, water, maybe do like some touch up waterings or something. But I wanna be trying to do the majority of my watering just on two days of the week. So I'm gonna be giving that a go and seeing if it helps me out to really like cluster those tasks. I've also put in my schedule once weekly foliar spraying for my Hoyas with the Orchid Mist because I really wanna be more consistent with that. Um, and then I also have designated a day to kind of plan what plant chores I wanna get done for the week, like what repottings I need to do, what full extensions need to be done, propagations, anything like that. Just like my, just like the like basic um, plant chores. I just wanna be thinking of what I need to do and then picking a day to do those. 
So yeah, I'm just trying to be more like planned and intentional about taking care of my plants. And I'm hoping that that's going to allow me to both stay on track with all of my plants and not fall behind majorly on any plant tasks and also just free up time for myself if I'm able to st stick to that schedule. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be trying out. But anyways, I digress. Um, what was I even talking about? I think I was talking about how I've started up using my liquid fertilizer again. Um, yeah, so I want to make sure that I have my big bottles mixed of that. Um, and then the last thing I wanna do is make a list of bigger projects that I want to do throughout this month. I know that I have a few things in mind that I really want to try to prioritize, like getting more grow lights up and things like that. So I'm gonna sit down and just brainstorm a little bit because like I said, it just helps me out so much to get things out of my brain and into paper and from paper to my calendar. So I can set aside the time to do the things that I want to get done. So yeah, that is kind of my update on my like plant care schedule plus what I'm going to be doing today for my monthly reset. So if that sounds good to you, then we're just going to get started. I am going to go wheel my plant cart out here and we'll see what state that is in. <laughs> Okay, this little basket is kind of like a more recent addition. This is actually something that used to be hanging off of a grid in one of my cabinets, but I just, I don't know, didn't need it for my cabinet anymore. I wasn't using it for that anymore. So um, now I have it just hanging on the side of here and I mostly have my shears in here. I'm missing one pair because it's outside. I should actually go collect that and put it in here because that's kind of the point to get everything organized. So I'm, I am gonna go grab that in a second. This is the pair that I use for like chunkier stems, things that need a bit more power to cut through. And then these are actually my favorite pair and my newest pair from Mossify. They're just so beautiful. I love the wood handle and they're super sharp and just really high quality. These are definitely the nicest pair that I have. These would work for a thicker stem as well, but um, this is the pair that I typically go for for just like day-to-day -day propagation and trimming yellow leaves off and stuff like that. And then I just went and grabbed these ones from outside. This is just my like basic small pair. I've had these ones honestly since the beginning of my plant journey, I think. Like I got these years ago. My first pair, that's so cute. They're just from the dollar store. My Velcro tape, I'm gonna move that to up there. I must have just thrown it in there at some point. And then I just have my microfiber gloves. These are good for cleaning off like bigger plant leaves. I haven't been using them recently because I have the beneficial mites on. Anyways, yeah, that's what this little basket houses. So put all my shears in there nicely. And then right away, I'm noticing all of these little containers that I just kind of threw onto here throughout the past month or two that should have been put away properly, but I must have been too lazy to go in the closet. So I just threw them on here. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to come off of here. Another one. Any stray dragonfly clips that I find around, I just put them back into the baggie. The green tape I'm just gonna put into there as well. These are some of my greening pins that are supposed to be on the middle shelf. And then I've also been thinking lately that I haven't used these in a long time. I just haven't needed to. Um, things were so dry in here over the summer that I just didn't have any gnat problems. So I'm probably just gonna move this to the bottom of this cart because I just don't need that in the way up here if I'm not using it. On the bottom is where most of my like pest um, control stuff is. I have my sacred elements on the other side. I have neem, um, isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, just the necessities. So I'm gonna add my mosquito dunks to that section since that just kind of makes sense. And then up here in the middle is just some different supplies. I have some trellises in there, my propagation orbs as well in two different sizes. I have small and medium, so I usually just keep those in here. This was a medium one that was already used, but I obviously want to reuse it. So I'm just gonna put it on top of there 
with the rest so I can grab that when I want to use it again. I'm going to move these greening pins to there. And then I usually keep just a small propagation mat on here. So I'm just going to kind of tuck that right there. I really need to mix up some more orchid mist. I'm completely out. I said that I was going to make a short or some type of video where I um, show y'all how I make my own. So that will be coming. I know I promised it so long ago, but it's on my list to do this week. So you will be seeing that soon because I am literally almost out. So I really need to make another batch. Oh, I actually have four pairs of shears. I forgot about these ones. These are my Fiskars, just like small ones. Um, I think that they're meant for herbs, but I like to use them for like more precise propagation. I also use the utility knife for propagation sometimes. That's normally in here, but it must have ended up in the junk drawer. I'm going to clean out this nasty cup. This is just um, full of super thrive, I think, because I always just throw my little dropper in here, which is really nasty. I should come up with a better method for that, but I'm gonna clean that out. Okay, I've cleaned out these little cups that I have on here, so that's done. I need to clean this whole thing one day. I'm not gonna do that today though, but one day I need to. I'm gonna move this myco. I feel like I never see it tucked in there. Also gonna move these tea bags down because these I use with the mosquito dunks. And I think that that is pretty good. Realistically, this cart probably needs a full overhaul where I take everything off, deep clean everything decide what I actually use and what I don't use um, and restock it, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just doing my basic um, reset today, but there's things like this pH testing kit that I literally never ever use. I need to be real with myself. Like, am I ever gonna use this? I don't know, but I just keep it on here for now. But one day I need to go through and kind of decide what, what I need to have on here and what I don't need to have on here. Okay, I was just putting away some of the containers that I had thrown on top of the cart and it made me realize that I have a bunch of containers that I've been stashing. I keep takeout containers, yogurt, like any food containers that I feel like I can use as a plant pot, I'll keep them to upcycle them. Um, but what I like to do is add drainage holes to the bottom of them. It's something I do a lot with Starbucks cups as well. I have a lot of my Anthurium potted into containers that I've upcycled. The problem is that they just end up stacking up waiting for me to put holes in them. So I think I'm just gonna go through those ones and bust out my soldering iron to put some holes in them so that they're just ready to go. Um, so this is just like a super cheap one that I got off of Amazon. And you're also supposed to have a wet sponge to kind of wipe off your soldering iron like after every few pokes so yeah this is my little kit that i keep in the in my plant closet um so that i can create some holes in my pot so i'm gonna take this outside to do it i'm gonna go get set up and then we'll create some new little plant pots Okay, I just went down and grabbed, first of all, this bin, which is what I'm gonna use for my soil mix that we're gonna make. And then this bin. This is my sphagnum moss brick that I need to transfer into my smaller sphagnum moss bin. I also took my overshirt off because it is freaking warm in here. It's 26.3 degrees in my house in October. 
when the sun is out, which is crazy. I think I need a glass of water actually. Okay, so I think the moss at the bottom is loose. So maybe if I can take this part out, I can just grab some of that loose stuff. Yeah. This is still the one mile sphagnum moss from Crystal Star Nursery that I'm using. It is so good, I love it. Look at how fluffy it is. Oh, so satisfying. Okay. I'm gonna put as much in here as I can. It's not a big deal to go downstairs and um, refill this, but you know, I don't want to have to be doing it like all the time. But it, this lasts me a long time. Like it goes further than you would think. I'm always surprised at like how many poles I can get out of just a small bin of moss. This has been damp for months, like it's still damp right now. And I don't know how I don't get mold when I keep sphagnum in these um, bins, but I just don't for some reason. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. So let's put this on. Boom. There we go, all full. For the next little while. I kind of go through sphagnum in spurts, like for, sometimes for weeks I'll use none, but then I'll have a week where I do a bunch of my pole extensions, which is what I'm gonna need to do soon because a, a lot of my poles are due to be extended again. So I'll go through little spurts of using a whole bunch when I decide to maintain my poles. That's pretty much all I use it for. I don't typically propagate in sphagnum. Like I will every now and again, but typically I just use it for my poles. So let's put this back in. I think it was sideways. There we go. Okay, let's mix up this soil. So I just have this bin, which is kind of small, honestly, but it's just gonna have to work because the bigger one has my tree fern mix in it. Okay, I'm just gonna be using this regular indoor potting soil. This is just the Garden Works brand. So I'm gonna dump some of that in here to be our base. It does have some perlite and it also has some slow release fertilizer it looks like. So that's good. The less things I have to put in, the better. And then, and then my orchid bark. This is fine fur bark. And I'm gonna put all this in, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna put all this in. And then I have this large perlite, which is nice. It's not huge, but it's like a decent size. I would like to try out that super chunky perlite that I see other people use. I've just never really seen it for sale. Like, I don't know where people find that. I guess we're using it all. I'm just gonna mix it with my hands. So I don't have my scoop right now. It's in my other container. Okay, I think that's pretty good. This actually looks super nice. That large perlite makes a really big difference. I feel like the plants are gonna love this. Like, look at that. It's so nice and chunky. That is beautiful. So satisfying. 
So now I have a few different mixes I can choose from whenever I do my repotting, which I really appreciate. So done. That literally only took a few minutes. And now I have this brand new mix ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the General Hydroponics Flora series. That's what I've been using for, I don't even know how long I've been using this for, a while, but I'm almost out. Like we're really getting to the bottom and I think I'm gonna be trying something new, like a different liquid fertilizer whenever I do finish with this, or maybe I'll just be using my Osmocote and I've also started using BIOS. I don't know, it's fun to try different things, but all I know is that these work really well, but they are a hassle to use. Like it's an extra step no matter what whenever you're using liquid fertilizer because you have to add something into your water, but it's times four when you're doing this. So yeah, it's definitely a pain in the butt, which is why I like to just fill up these four liter jugs and have them ready to go. My other one's already full, so I guess I just have this one to fill up. So I'm just gonna do that. I put one teaspoon of cow mag, and then I put one and a half teaspoons of each of the other ones. Oh my gosh, this one's so messy for some reason. Like, I don't know what is wrong with the lid of this one, but it's unwell. Oops. I also noticed that this one is gross and dirty, so I'm just gonna rinse that while I'm here. And speaking of this one, my Growtech Vitamax Pro, I think I'm gonna fertilize with this next time I mix up my jugs because I know I've already done a couple of rounds of my of the Flora series on all of my plants. And this is just like a, what do they call it? Growth enhancer. And it says to use a long, use as part of a complete fertilizer program. So it can help boost the growth of your plant. So I think I'm gonna use that next time just to give them, you know, a little extra something, something. And I wanna use this up anyways. I still have like, Half of, I felt like I used so much of this, but you really only need such a small amount that this bottle lasts a super, super long time. Apparently it expired in July, but I'm just gonna keep using it. <laughs> okay, so for my fertilizer squeeze bottle, it's already full, as is my just regular plain water one. This one I mostly use to touch up my pinguiculas. And then I have my Super Thrive one, which I've been using a lot lately. I've been using this primarily to water my moss poles just to, I don't know, give them a little boost. So I'm just gonna add a couple more drops in here and just top it off. Super Thrive. Maybe I'll do three drops, because I usually do six, five or six total. Okay, then I'm all done with that. Okay y'all, lastly, I'm just going to be writing down my October, I'm not gonna write small things like my typical plant chores, like repotting and propagating and everything, but anything that I feel is a bigger project that I want to remember to focus on, something that I really want to get done during October, I'm gonna write those things down. So I'm just gonna sit and um, kind of do some brainstorming.
Okay, so what I've come up with for October is I want to extend all of my moss poles that are due. I have so many that are due. If it was just like one or two, then I probably wouldn't have written it down on this list. But since there's probably like 10 that need to be done, I put that down because it's become a larger task now. Second thing is rearrange plants. I really need to go through and just move plants around because the seasons are changing, lighting's changing. Um, we're gonna have heat on, so I can't have plants like right near the heat vents. Um, I also just need to like, you know, clean up my shelves, just organize things so that they aesthetically look a little bit nicer. Um, I want to may maybe even get rid of some plants. I don't know, we'll see. I just know that I need to do a big rearrange slash refresh moment. <laughs> Um, next, I wrote down get all plants inside because I do have some, they were almost all in, and then I found thrips on some of the ones I brought in, so I treated them and then put them back outside because I'm just like, no, like we're not doing that. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to get them all in, like during October for sure, because they're not going to make it, make it if I don't bring them in. Next thing on my list is a big one, but an exciting one, and it is to hang my Wally Grow planters. I think I've finally figured out what I want to do with them. So I'm hoping to, to get those up and that will be so exciting. I haven't seen them on a wall since I moved, obviously. And I've just, I don't know, I've just had them chilling around in window sills, but I miss having them hanging. I feel like I appreciate them so much more and they just bring so much life to a wall. So I'm really excited to get those up. Next is to get my grow lights up. I want to put a light um, by my plant shelf. I want to like mount one um, between the two taller shelves here because I just have those clamp lamps for now, but I want to mount a light there. Um, and then I also think that I'm gonna have to hang a light in the office where my dubia and a couple of poles are. So hopefully I'll get those done. And then the last thing on my list is to repot my anthurium. And I also want to try the new Rousseau pot extenders that I got a few weeks ago. I have so many anthurium that are overdue for potting. That's why I put it on this list because again, it's become a larger task because I have they almost all my anthurium except for my um, crystal mag need to be repotted. So that's something that I really need to focus on in October as well. But yeah, that's all I have on my list. So. It's definitely gonna be a busy month because I have other plant chores that of course need to be done as well. And it's just October, so there's a lot going on in general. But yeah, I guess that's going to be the end of my little monthly reset. I do feel a little bit more prepared and a little bit more focused, so Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know if you follow any routines when it comes to your plant collection. I would honestly love to hear that. It could probably help a lot of us out. And I just, I don't know, I'm just so interested in how other people um, organize things and the routines that they follow. It really inspires me and maybe I can implement some of the things that you do into my life. Like I said, I might do these videos a little bit more frequently and I think that it could be fun because seasonally the things that I do every month could change a little bit and yeah it's just kind of fun to hang out and get organized. Anyways as always thank you so so much for watching you guys are the best leave me a comment down below I would love to chat with you also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one bye! Try